I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up for a composite filling and also I'm going to show you guys a basic instrument setup. I have gotten a couple people ask me to do a video on my basic instrument setup so I'm going to do that so hopefully the girls that ask actually watch this video. Let's get into the video. This one will be pretty short and simple. So right here we have two air water tips. We keep two, one for the doctor, one for the assistant. Right here is a articulating paper holder. This is to replace the articulating paper in. You just squeeze it and it opens like that. So right here we have a mirror and that's is basic it's just a mirror right here is a ball burnisher and this is used for packable composites this is my favorite instrument to use for composites um, I just like how it works and when you place bond on it you smooth it out and you got a good composite this is called a plastic instrument. This can be used for composites or it can be used to pack um, cord. Yeah. And it's just flat. Right here, this is a small spoon and it's small on both sides. And we use this for to get out any soft decay. And this is a small one. And it just looks like a spoon. Here we have a large spoon. And it does the same thing, but if you have a larger area, you can use the larger spoon. we have a large and a small one. Right here is a condenser. It's small on one side, big on the other. And this is to pack composite as well. That's what that looks like. And we have two cotton pliers. One for doctor, one for assistant. So that's what that looks like. You can use it to grab something out of your drawer. But if you do that, make sure you didn't already use it to like grab something out of the patient's mouth or make sure it's not dirty already before you um, go into a drawer with this because that's the whole point. So I always keep mine clean because I know I'm always grabbing something out of the drawer. If I need to go into the patient's mouth, I'll usually ask doctor to use his. Um, but yeah, one for a doctor, one for assistant. Right here, we have a scaler. So yeah, that's a scaler. And there's a whole bunch of different types of scalers. Um, this is just the one we have in our pack. That's the name of it. And then we have a Perio Pro. And this is used to go down into the gum line, measure the gum line. And yeah, that's what a Perio Pro looks like. And then last but not least, we have a Explorer. And this is to check and see if you have any decay. So yeah, and it looks the same on both sides. I'm trying not to switch around because it's hard to focus again, but that's what an Explorer looks like. Some offices I know they have set up for crowns they have set up for fillings they have set up for this and that but we just use this setup for everything so that's our basic setup and now I'm going to show you guys how to do a composite filling setup because this video is kind of short so 
I'm gonna show you guys how to do a composite setup really quickly. So this is a composite setup. So I didn't grab any cotton rolls or anything like that because I don't wanna waste them. But to place a filling, you'll need some etch. This is etch, it's just in a different tube because we have the bulk fill etch. So I put it in this tube here. You're also going to need some bond. We use the Viva pen. A lot of people don't like it. I like it, it's easy. You just push the button here and the bond comes out. And yes, I think it's really easy to use. Next, you'll need your flowable. We use Heavy Flow by Grandioso. And I love this flowable, it's by Boko. And I think it's really good. It's not runny at all. It's very thick, very easy to control. And this one is in the shade A1, as you can see. I like to use neutral shades because that they pretty much go for everyone. So I usually use an A1 or a B1. And then I have some articulating paper and that goes into the holder that I just showed you guys. And then here I have some floss. This is our packable composite. I use the Myron Fusion. It's by Vocal as well. I love Vocal products. And yes, it's in the shade A2. And you would put that in your gun here. I have some Toppenmeyers here. And I don't really like Toppenmeyers. I hate setting them up. So I use this here, the matrix system. And I think that this is way easier. Oh, uh, the bands are in here. This is what they're called. And this is what it looks like. I'm gonna open it and show you. So this is what they look like. They have different sizes, so you would put this in between the teeth and then you would grip it with one of these and it's just so much easier than using this. I've been an assistant for four years going on five and I still don't know how to use this. I think it's so complicated. This is bomb. If you don't have this, I think you should get it. If you have a hard time using top of Myers, you should get this as well but so you would just place the piece that i just showed you in between the teeth like that take your ring and put it on there but it's so slippery that it keeps popping off so that's what that looks like so that's the end of this video i hope you guys enjoy i will see you guys in my next video make sure you guys comment like and subscribe comment down below if you guys have different setups also comment down below the type of flowable and composite you guys use i will see you guys in my next video bye guys